time to test your knowledge of the tarot cards. Let's see how much you really know. So, here's the first one. A strength card. Another one. Adjustment. Justice. Only one. Work. What does that mean? Hermit. What does that mean? Let's go quicker. Satiety. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Three of Wands. Six of Cups. <sighs> Queen of Swords. So, how did you do? How many did you get? How many meanings of each of those cards did you, did you think of? One? Two? Ten? Some of you may have done flash through your mind. For me, I would probably struggle to get one for each other. And I would tell a profession. Are you a failure if you only manage one of those cards, one meaning for each of those cards? Um, <coughs> if you, if you, uh, by a lot of tarot teacher standards, you failed. And you should never teach or read tarot cards professionally. My point of view is that actually, the people that I like to work with, the tarot readers I like to work with and study with, are the ones who just came up with one meaning. That sounds really surprising. Because I don't rely on the meaning of the cards. I rely on techniques such as card counting, pairing, elemental dignities, astrology, the structure of the tarot, um, just the energies of the cards as well. It's those things that really uh, give a real purpose and sense of what the reading's about. And you can find that the energy doesn't necessarily match the person or the person's questions. It just doesn't seem to fit together. You go by the meanings, you're stuck by the meanings. The meanings are something that someone had to say somewhere that asked what the meaning of the card is. Um, are they that relevant these days? A lot of the times they're not. So, if they don't change the meanings, and my meanings haven't changed in 30 years, they've got worse. I can, I can hardly think of, um, yeah, my mind goes blank when I try and think of the means. I would fail every single tarot course that's going at the moment. I'm not joking. So there are other ways of looking at things. Now, the problem is, is that when you remember the meaning of a card, you're taking yourself into a nine. Everyone says the Ace of Cups means gift of love or the Two of Cups is love relationships. Yeah, it does. But if you can't remember this, you think there's something wrong with you. And there isn't actually. What you're actually doing is allowing yourself to go into a new energy, a new space, that will, something new will come out of that thing. Now, in set theory, sets are just sets of cards, sets of fruit. You know, sets of fruit can be apples, oranges, pears, grapes, any kind of set. The ultimate set is the null set, and the null set contains nothing. And if you're happy and confident with not with a null set of not knowing anything, then not knowing anything gives you all the meanings of the cards. All of the cards, the meanings of the cards, known and unknown, are available to you right at that moment. It's a very powerful way of thinking. So instead of paying, thinking, oh my God, I can't remember, you know, I'm really struggling, where's the book? What do I find it? And the customer's sitting there, you know, what on earth are you playing at? You know, I thought you were a tarot reader and everything else. You just sit there and be aware of the energy of the cards. You'll find things come into your mind that might surprise you. And if you mention it, you probably think, Christmas says, oh my God, how did you know that? Well, you know, because you weren't worrying about the means of the cards. You know, because of the energy and how it was working out and how it was going. This null set, the emptiness, gives you everything. It's an extraordinarily powerful thing. So, being having that comfort with nothing means you're comfortable with everything. Just being aware of the energies. 
you perceive better than the other sort of possible. You, it happens to me all the time. I mean, I just kind of sort of, sort of, kind of casually looking at the cards and talking. Sometimes I'm just doing talking before I even do the reading. A lot of the stuff that comes up is is pertains to the reading anyway, but it kind of gets dealt with before we even looks at the cards. The readings will be far more powerful and not on the on the button rather than trying to go through every bloody card as it is with that and everything else. You'll just it's it's it just it just makes everything flow better for you. Increases your confidence. Increase your confidence in life too as well actually to be honest with you. And it's better for your clients. So we think, wow, oh my God, how did you know those things? How did she know those things? How did you know those things? And it just just came to my mind. So this idea of the power and the energy of nothing, um, in um, in Advaita terms, in uh, one of the uh, yoga systems in the East, it's called neti neti, or neither neither. Neither neither means not this, not this. Um, what is that? That is that thou art. All this is that, and what is this? None of these things exist. So in two tarot cards, we'll take two off the top here, I've not well, I've got the sun and the moon, oh, I'll look at um, I had no idea that's going to come up. Um, the energy is not the sun, it's not the moon, not the moon, not the sun. It's the energy between the cards, that space, that gap, that emptiness, that's what the Neither, neither is neti neti. It is neither of these cards. It is something else. And it's interesting. What comes to my mind when I think about these two cards right now is the yin yang symbol. Um, of, you know, the ancient Chinese symbol of positive and negative, masculine and feminine. Because these cards are kind of polarities in themselves. Funnily enough, so it just creates that whole Taoist symbol of yin yang, and it's the yin yang is kind of everything in the universe, isn't it? If you know Chinese philosophy. Uh, that's amazing how that turned up, isn't it? I didn't know I was even going to do this bit. So, um, so there we are. It's the energy. What is it? You know, and of course, how would you talk about those two cars as an energy? It would depend on who that person is and what they're going through, where they're going to, what they want to do with their life, and all these things. So you never know. And every time you, so every time you pick those two cards, or these two cards came up in a reading, you would interpret them differently. And that. No one can say that interpretation is wrong because you're doing that reading for that person at that time. It's, it's, it's what's required. It's what's necessary. So just, it is, it's awareness energy. You see, the thing is, people think you see. Seeing is awareness. It's, it's not like pictures. Some people get it visually. But a lot of the time it's just an awareness. And awareness is, is of nothing. Um, which makes it even more abstract. So this is the way to go. It's going into the energy of nothing. And perceiving when the energy of nothing has no meanings, then you have all meanings.